Hi guys! Hello! So we thought we'd just do a little fun video where we look at some interesting childhood photos. Wait, <laughs> mine. This is, this is mainly to comment on the fact that we were quite different as children. Also, you did once say in a video that you wouldn't have been my friend when I was little. Well, probably not, no. Because I was a tomboy. You have no idea how much I fancied the girls who wanted to play. Yeah, but you wouldn't have wanted to play. I would have followed you everywhere, though. <laughs> I would have written your name down in my notebook. Okay. Well, this is my first one, and this photo is very special to me. Oh, that's cute. Because I'm wearing a matching dress with my nana. And you're also trying to eat it. Yeah, I'm trying to eat her dress. The it looks like you and so Nana's kind of saying, Okay, Jesse, this is how you sit down and pray. And you're like, yeah. And you're like, I want to eat your dress. <laughs> yeah, I was a bit of a chubster, as we can see. I think I ate pretty much everything. Oh, God, you can actually see. Look at my hand. Look at my arm. It looks like you've got a that bulging deltoid. Like, Jesus. It's the biggest muscly it arm It looks like I'm wearing had. a bracelet. I'm not. That's oh, my fat I love, roll. I love when the hands just come out of their little chubby arms. Oh, no. Yeah, oh, so no. cute. I was the biggest child. Oh, it's a really sweet photo. Thank you. It sums you up as a person, I think, in that. Oh, sorry, no, I mean... <laughs> <laughs> I mean just in the sense that it's like, you know, floral garden and like English and love of family and yeah. you're just really cute and you're wearing, little, frilly you're wearing a little dress with a big, like, skirt and you're bald. <laughs> <laughs> this is me, which was quite stereotypically my face in pretty much all the photos when I'm a baby. I feel so sorry for your parents. I'm just like one grumpy little kid. And that's my sister. <laughs> He's really fascinated in the camera case right there. <laughs> but yeah, every family photo that you guys have is basically your face like. Hmm, Apparently, I had a bit of a nice. like. Is it like a stigmatism or something? Yeah. I had slightly cross-eyed. So that's why I'm always frowning, because I think I just couldn't see very well. You still do that. Mm. I come into the bedroom at night and you're there on your phone like... <laughs> that's really sweet, like I'm a little dungarees. I love babies and dungarees. I do. I also love the fact that your mother has colour-coded your dungarees. I like when you look at yourself at this age, you can't really get embarrassed because you don't really remember it and obviously like none of that was your choice and you can't you, can you were just cute <laughs> like, like, yeah. none of it was your as choice as you get older it's like oh i did remember choosing that top moving <laughs> on from like jesse is a is a pretty little girl. Silly little girl well to be fair in this photo i'm still fat but i am now a boy yeah with like a little mohican yeah yeah i'm a boy with a mohican <laughs> uh, i think this is when my mother realized that she had to dress me in girls clothes in really frilly girls clothes I was like, oh, because like otherwise boy. people were like oh your son is so adorable you really is do his father like... chinese it's like i look more like a boy than my brother did this is me i think i'm like oh it says summer 89 on the back because my mom always wrote everything up was good i look pretty cool actually i really like my really 80s t-shirt Oh. My little tucked in, my really like my <laughs> belly, like my t-shirt's like holding in my belly. Yeah, right? quite a belly. Still frowning. Still. Oh yeah, I'm still frowning. Yeah. Look, you would look like such a team. I've got my spade. <laughs> I'm like, I have dug up these pebbles, and Julia's like, I shall put them in my top. Oh. I could. And again in pink. To be fair, if I wasn't in pink, I could probably pass as a boy in that one. See, I think in both photos so far, your mother's been like, mmm, mmm. <laughs> <laughs> I think people will mistake this child. Let me dress it in pink. And everyone will Unlike your mum. <laughs> Unlike mum, was like, let's play with some gender. Again, as I said, my mother then quickly realised, oh dear, we must dress Jessica as a child, or people will be very confused. Dress Jessica as a child, as opposed to no, a dog. <laughs> we must dress Jessica as a girl. God, this hair's terrible. This yeah, haircut is really horrific. Like you've got natural highlights I've and low really lights. I've got really weird, stripy like, really highlights as a child. Like, they're just really, yeah. Also, my hair naturally, I don't have a parting, it just grows from the centre of my head all the way around. And my parents <laughs> thought the best thing to do with this was just to literally <laughs> chop yeah, across the front. Yeah, it's really sweet, I think. Well, I guess as I got a bit older, I started to embrace my, um, sort of my natural instincts to want to be a bit more tomboyish. I love this photo. I like this photo, yeah, I look pretty cool. You are, you are looking good. Look at you, you're so hot. <laughs> That's She's, I say it from the perspective of child me, obviously, not right now. 
Just took yeah, your heart. That's pretty confident. Now. That was my confident age. I was like, yeah, I know who I am. I'm Aww. six. I know everything about the world. I gotta say, as a little girl, I would have. Pff, you would have been everything. <laughs> Seriously, biggest <laughs> crush ever would have would have happened if I'd met you. Oh, a completely different. You can see why <laughs> this girl. Where is it? Where yeah, wait, I? wait. She's coming. She's coming back. You can see why these two. We're not friends. Maybe. Wait. I'm gonna. That's why. Kind of looking at each other. You wouldn't have been my friend. <clears throat> no, I might have been. I did have some girly friends who I sort of like. Kind of looked after, you know, like, are you okay? Why are you crying? So yeah, I went through that kind of like almost. It's like yeah, I'm cool, cool child. Yeah. So whilst and you were then... having your cool child <coughs> moment, I was yeah. having this moment. I know what you're thinking, Jessica. You still dress like this. Yeah. And yeah, I do. Also, I do. is that your cousin? Uh, no. That is just a girl who I was friends with. Okay, I'll hold your hand, strange girl. And That's you know, harsh! We were friends! <laughs> don't make assumptions! You don't assumptions. remember that as a boy or a girl. You obviously weren't that much of a friend. <laughs> At that age, you would not have been like, I need to put a schmock I to do. protect my clothes, mother. <laughs> I think the, the straw bow is probably my idea, though. Yeah, that's quite sweet. I think I look ruddy adorable, although the kid in the background is throwing some shade. She's just, just like... I know, look at her oh, arm. God. So yeah, then I like kind of... I think as all children in the 90s went for a bit of an awkward stage. Luckily in this photo, my sister kind of completely <laughs> overshadows me in her ultra 90s look there. Yeah. Again, so sorry Julia. So sorry that you've been dragged into this. What are those glasses? They were all arrayed in the 90s. We've not seen like Clueless. Do you want to, do you want to recreate that face for us please, Claudia? I do that face quite a lot still today. I don't know why I'm cross-eyed there. <laughs> it looks like I am. Kind of. <laughs> I think it's formal sportswear. I'm wearing a skirt. I would have hardly ever worn a skirt at that age. So mum must have worked really hard to get me to wear something that was at least a little bit more... Uh... Yeah, because what did you mainly wear as a child, Claudia? I know, we couldn't find a photo of it. My but, Puma oh. shorts. My, they were men's cycling shorts. I had them in um, green and in blue. And obviously they're meant to be tight, crisp like cycling shorts, but they were like baggy three quarter length uh, like trousers on me. And then uh, here's me a bit older. One of my favourite things to do was dress up as if my normal clothing wasn't dressed up enough. But this photo is actually very significant, again, for the other person in it. <laughs> yeah, let's drag the siblings into this. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, you're just getting dragged. Um, I begged my mother for a sister. She did not provide, she gave me a brother instead, so I decided no, he's a girl now. And I used to dress him up in skirts constantly. I love that he's wearing his little slippers. Yeah. It's like, I, it's like he's just woken out of woken up from bed and you're just like, right, put this on now. You're a girl now, you're a princess. I'm gonna wear this chunks arm and you're gonna wear this like whatever this what the hell is that? <laughs> it's like some disco fever. I wore that to my first ever disco. Oh yeah, so you know, you know. <laughs> Right, this last one is actually quite embarrassing. In my defence, before I show it, I was we were playing dress up. Um, uh, I was being, I was being Ken, like Barbie yeah, Ken. Sure. What is Ken's surname in Barbie? Oh, I don't know. But Barbie has a middle name, and it's Millicent. <laughs> really, I did not know that. Oh, <laughs> what a looker! You look weirdly like... I'm getting really into the part there. You look like the actor in 10 Things I Hate About You. I think actually I remember feeling like really quite cool though. I was like, yeah. I had That's my hair cool. slicked back. I like dressing up as men when we did dress up. <laughs> Why not? It's more fun, isn't it? <laughs> I know. Girls should be given the full range of options. Well, I obviously stopped dressing like a man and... Actually, you know, you are dressed like the curtains. <laughs> no. You are just blending with the cat. I think that hair. was the fashion in the like late nineties. Also, you can skateboard. I couldn't really. I had a skateboard. I've seen you skateboard. Okay, it was one of the most attractive things she's <laughs> ever done. <laughs> she did this in my cousin's kitchen, skateboarding, and um, and she just went backwards and forwards in the kitchen, and I stood there. Like... <sighs> we learned that I'm still inspired by vintage fashions. Mm -hmm. 
and you still enjoy sometimes dressing like And you look like better boy. dressed in women's clothes than men's clothes. <laughs> yes. I was coolest when I was about six in Dartmoor, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're really cool now, what are you talking about? Maybe if you'd been my friend when we were that young, I would have been like, oh yeah, I'm gay. Rather than yeah. waiting another like 20 years. Because I'd be like, hey, I'm six and I'm a lesbian. Which is actually what I was like when I was six. I don't think I would have known what that was. I would have explained. It's alright, darling. We are wife and wife now. We don't have to like pretend <laughs> that we would have been dating from the age of six to justify our like love any more than it is now. Fair enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. That didn't even make sense, but yeah, you know what I meant. So okay, give us a like if you like this video and let us know in the comments what you thought the best photo was of that little set. Clearly the one of me looking like a boy. <laughs>